All right, welcome back. We got all those packages installed, and now what? Uh, now is a good time to take a quick look at the software that we're going to be using to develop this. So it's going to ask us to install more packages, and we're going to select Finish because we don't want to. Uh, we can close out of Control Center here, get back to our desktop. So if we slide down to the K menu, we'll notice that we have a development selection here. And from the top here, we have GUI Designer, and then we have QT Designer. So I'm going to select this and just open it. This is the program that we're going to be designing the graphical user interface of our calculator with. Uh, we're going to get into more of the in-depth workings of this program later on when we develop the graphical interface. We just kind of we can get a quick overview over here. We can see that we can add buttons on the left side here. This uh, right side we have a directory tree as well as on this right properties panel we can select different properties for different widgets that we add to our dialog. So if I were to go to preview and preview form, this is the window that it gives you by default. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a calculator and then we're going to actually make it work as we click on the buttons and then have it actually do the arithmetic. So we can close out of QT Designer. And the next one that we're going to take a quick look at is we're going to come down to the K menu, come back to development, and then we're going to go to integrated environment. And if we slide over here, we have kdevelop C, C, C slash C++. So let's select this. kdevelop is a program that is great for developing KDE applications for Linux. Uh, so this is the basic layout here. We'd be developing new projects. So when, we, when, we, when it comes time to write our calculator, we're going to be selecting some options out of here. Uh, we can also take a look at over here. We have the option for a new source file. We also have a file selector, so it's kind of like we have a little directory tree here. Okay, so uh, we'll close out of this. And then there's another program that we installed, the, G, uh, the, the C++ compiler. So I'm going to do a real quick demonstration on how G++ works. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a directory where we can hold the source files for our program. Now the very first program that we're going to write is a console-based program that we're going to use to test to make sure that our class functions are working properly. So when we import this into the program that's going to eventually be part of the graphical user interface, we know that it's working properly. And then all we have to do is kind of edit things here and there to tighten the code up. I know that sounded incredibly confusing, but as we go forth with it, as, but as we go forth with this, you're going to see what I'm talking about. It's a rather simple concept. So I'm going to right click on the desktop and create new, and I'm creating a new folder. And I'm going to call this folder Calculator. As a matter of fact, I'm going to call it Linux Calculator. And select OK. So here's my folder where I'm going to be holding all of my, all of my source files. So I'm going to open the folder. And I'm going to create a simple C++ program. We're going to be using this as the driver program. So I'm going to right click, create a new text file. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to call this main.cpp and then OK. And then right click on this file, slide down to open with and open it with K write. It's a simple ASCII text editor that we're going to be use that we're going to be using to develop our basic C++ files. OK, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a simple C++, C++ program that just says test. It's going to print out the word test to the screen. So I'm going to do pound include IO stream using namespace std initialize main function. I'm going to press F11 because that brings up my, my line numbers on the left hand side here. I'm going to return 0. And right before I do, I'm going to see out test with a character return at the end. And before anything happens, I'm going to run a system command to the Linux console to clear the screen. And in order to do this, I'm going to run the simple Unix command clear, and that will clear the screen. So this simple nine page, the simple nine line file is what I'm going to do. And I'm also going to add one extra space at the end. So at the end, we should have a total of 10 lines. So save this. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mouse down here and I'm going to open up console or terminal, whichever one, you know, whatever you call it. Maximize the window to make it nice and pretty. Right now, I'm in the home directory. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to traverse to the 
directory that's holding my source file. So I'm going to go to the desktop and I'm going to go to my Linux calculator. Press enter. So I just traveled into the, the folder that's holding my source file. That's all that I did. And I have these two files. I have a temporary file and I have the main file. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the C++ compiler. The syntax for this, very simple. I'm going to type G++ space and the name of the file, main.cpp. That's all I'm going to type. I'm going to press enter. And it just compiled my code. So now if I do a, a dir, I can see that I have another file here that wasn't there before, a.out. This is a binary file. So this is the file that was created when I compiled main.cpp. Now in Linux, the way that I can run this, dot forward slash and the name of the binary, dot forward slash a dot out. When I press enter, the screen clears and the word test prints on the screen. So that was the other thing that we installed was the C++ compiler. So I can exit out of the console here. I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this and go right back to a fresh desktop. The next time that we return, we're going to be building the class.